Hello, and welcome back to Skyward Sword Hero Mode. So last time, I defeated the Imprisoned for the third and final time. Not counting, of course, any times it was faced during the boss rush. But I also completed the boss rush mode a couple of times to get this Hylian Shield, which cannot ever break, so the health gauge that it has right below the hearts, kind of in the upper left of the screen, is pointless because it is indestructible, so it doesn't need to have a health meter. That being said, I do like the blue kind of, um, I don't know, like, kind of a, um, blue, how would I describe it? Not like a, I like the blue kind of fluid motion that, that, um, displays it where the health, for the health meter. That's pretty visually appealing. It's, it's pretty to look at. I also did the boss rush a second time to get the piece of heart, which is the final piece of heart in the game. So, I'm fully equipped, now I have my indestructible Hylian shield, and yeah, I'm ready to go. Since I've defeated the Imprisoned for the third and final time, I'm ready to go back to the Furon Woods. Actually, there's something I want to do first. I should have gone the other way, because, well, there is one more thing that I want to do. I just realized, remembered that I could do this. I can draw something else for the Goron, Gorko and get something as a reward. So I'm going to go do that. So in order to do that, I have to go take this exit. Of course, the Ferran Woods uh, door has closed because of the massive flooding. And there's a magical seal uh, behind with the closed door as well, or that requires the door to be closed, that keeps the water that, as you will see, is literally going all the way up to the tops of trees, basically, from pouring into here as the gate is not really tall enough to keep that from happening. Or neither are the walls. Life's Crimson Vessel. Okay, well, I know what that is. Uh, that's probably the heart. Now, last time I tried to draw a heart, I think it was last time, it was so horrible that it's honestly, it's embarrassing. So uh, hopefully I can make it look better this time. So there's the first half. All right, the second half I think looks good too. There we go. Yep. So you get ten hearts when you do this. Of course, um, last time it thought I was the game thought I was trying to draw the bomb, which is just a circle. And I got another dusk relic. Awesome. Okay. So as I said, oh. Okay. Sure. I want to know what was in those texts. Mm. Three, yeah, I know what this is, the Triforce, which, like I said, I did, I feel like an idiot, but I, um, did, um, <laughs> look up a better way of trying to draw the Triforce, instead of having to go back and redo any of my lines, which is so stupid of an idea, I probably, sh I, I'm kind of shocked that I ever did that in the first place, but I did, oh well. Anyways, certainly the, uh, I don't know, the, the cliff walls of the natural terrain wouldn't really be high enough to keep out the water anyway, so... Fortunately, the old lady placed a magical seal, I think, to keep the water from gushing into this area and, well, flooding and ruining the temple. Alright, so anyways... Yep, I have to go this way as Groos is going to help me, give me a, a lift. Somewhat literally, I mean, I guess he's not picking me up, but... Alright. So let's go. And here we are. That is a lot of water. And there are the Kikwis, they've survived. They've managed to survive.
There's the keep the elder. Really? I didn't realize you didn't know my name. Yeah, what's going on with the water? Maybe, but, well, not entirely. There are monsters over there still. But I guess... And there are, there are um, aquatic monsters as well. There are fish-like monsters that, you know exist in this game and those frog monsters can they can exist in the water as well as on the surface let's see what these guys have to say they're just kind of vibing but i don't think uh i don't think they like this that much so. well considering he wants to hide from monsters though if there are no monsters then no problem, is there? So this is the guy who wants to go to, um, who will, I will escort out of here. But even though you can get him while the water's high, I think I'm actually going to wait till the water goes back to normal. Just to see what it's like. Just why the hell not? So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to say hi to the other Kiwis, though. Even though I totally don't have to. Because I want to. They're just kind of vibing. Um... I say that, I, I imagine that they're not in a great mental state. Alright, I'm gonna kind of swim a bit to get there a bit faster. Like I said, you totally don't have to, but I want to. Because I want to know what they think about this. Okay, well... Um... Yeah, so this happened, this came from the base of the tree, which is your hint that you have to go into. Hey, would you look at that? There's, um, there are frogs already. Or, and, uh, I think that's a choo-choo as well, so they can live in the water as well. So, you know, you just kind of open the way up for other types of monsters, but that's the hint. You have to go inside of the base of the tree. All the way down here. So I'm hesitant to use, even though it's probably fine, uh, the attack, this, too much. Even though it speeds me up. Oh, there are, there are things I have to watch out for now. Uh, because in hero mode, as I think I've stated before, using that like attack, uh, it uses more of your gauge than in normal mode. Now, I don't have to go across, I don't have to do the stupid wind puzzle crap because this area is flooded so, as well, so I can just swim up to the higher platform. Although I don't know if I'm supposed to. I don't entirely remember. So, I think so, because the lower exit, which is blocked off anyway, that would actually not take me anywhere. Um, yeah. I mean, I, it wouldn't take me anywhere that's not technically accessible already. Okay, yeah, and here's a cutscene. Cool. Where I think the water dragon... There, there's, there she is. Let's not get into the physics of what would happen with, like, all the water pressure to, um... And just with all the all the water in general, what would happen to the plant life living on the surface, regardless of the pressure. Yeah, but you know what? That shield was actually harder to obtain than that sword. In fact, yeah, I, I would say that the shield is actually harder to get than the sword that I have.
Kong. So, yeah, I have to go in the water, do a lot of swimming to uh, get the um, portion of the Song of the Hero, which, um, why am I doing this? I've already hit that bird statue, so. Uh, there's nothing to do here. Uh, this will just help me get up here faster. Let's get rid of these guys. Um... Wait, why did I take damage? Or did I not have full health coming in here? I honestly don't remember. I don't really care either, because... Look, I'm back at full health. Okay. There's butterfly. Don't need it, but let's just... I want to catch some bugs. Still. Um, wait for it to come back, and you're mine. Okay. Um, is there anything up here? Like the hermit? Is there any point? Oh, 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 that grasshopper just took its own life. See if I can catch both of these. Well, I caught one of them. Uh, I think. If I step on the other one, I'm gonna kill it, so... Even though there's no point in doing this, I don't really have a use for these bugs anymore. I, I certainly don't have a use for that amber relic. I pointed at it like you could see what I'm pointing at. But also, is the hermit... Uh... I don't see him anywhere. This is where he is. Where he lives, right? It doesn't matter in either case. Oh, or does it? Oh yeah, you know what? It might. Uh, I forget. I forget if there's a... Uh, if I have to invert one of these. Anyway. Uh, so now there are also poison air bubbles that I have to watch out for. Um, but, there is actually something... What is that up there? That's a heart flower. Um, uh, I have a, I, okay, I want to go see the hermit, not the hermit, I said the hermit, <laughs> the, I think the elder again, okay, so the way this works is that, um, oh, here's, uh, somebody who's got something to say, I think, um, they have advice for me, although, I already Yep, you have to catch all of the ones in a group that are connected, basically. Um, um, you have to catch all of the ones that are connected at once, like that, or else they go away and then you have to collect them again. Okay, does this guy have anything to tell me? Because, as you can probably guess, you can douse for them. Oh, he sounds sad. Does one of them tell me I can do this? Because... <sighs> By do this, I mean douse for them. Although, it's kind of hard to do because you can't use the dowsing when you're in the water. So you have to do it from the surface. So it really just kind of gives you a general idea of where you should look. Well, I say a general idea. It gives you an idea. It's just from a quite a distance away. The Perella? I, I didn't know that's what they were called. I didn't know that's what they were called. But, no, that's not useful. Um... Maybe this guy? Because I swear one of them um, knows about the dowsing ability and gives the incredibly insightful suggestion that I should use it to um, help me locate ta- uh, yes, damn it. To locate tad tones. What? Okay. Alright. Maybe I have to start getting some first. After all, some of them are pretty easy to locate. Um, now eventually, after you get enough of these, some of those bigger, annoying-ass fish creatures, the ones that, um, the big fish, I don't remember what they're called, will start appearing. 
and I'm out of air. But that's okay, because there's a bubble right here. Alright, that's okay. We got this big group instead, first. Not first. Bef but first, I mean before- oh, before, before the one I was after. And... so... I think, um, you do get a bit of air from Tad Tones as well. Um... Where other fish are swimming, okay. Okay. There we go. That one's isolated, so... Yeah, but anyway, um... Because I don't, I don't know if it's one of the, um, Parella... I guess that's what they're called. I, I, that I just learned. <laughs> um, that tells me that, uh, or that gives the suggestion for dowsing for them. Uh... Oh, I see. I can't even go into the tree from any of the other exits, as they have a strong current of water that keeps me from going in. Okay. I mainly did this because I'm about to run out of air. Uh, let's see if I can see any from the surface of the water. It's kind of hard because they're far away. I see a little group of four, and I see another, another hint. Come on! Okay, yeah, I already knew that. Yeah, and like I said, in hero mode, you use even more air, so... Use it very sparingly. Or... I mean, the thing is, like I said, the Tad Tones... Do, okay, I see something. Uh, they do give you oxygen, but, um... There we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, holy shit, that's a lot of hearts. And I lost it, as you can see. So I gotta be a little bit faster. Um, I'm assuming this is part of that group. Um, I guess, is this gonna be fast enough? Um, nope. Like I said, I don't really want to spin if I can help it, but I, I guess I have to. Okay. Alright. Damn it. Just a bit too slow. Alright, I'm gonna go get one of these big air bubbles, and then I can then I can spin over there and get it in time. Get the second one in time. Gotta oh gotta watch out for the poison air bubbles though. There we go. Oh wow, that has a pretty big range. Um, okay. Alright. So now that's um not the original um sort of group tad tones that I was looking for though. I found a group of four earlier, um, that might be patrolling this area. Oh, I was gonna try to get that stupid choo-choo, but I m missed. There we go. Um, yep. I think I see the group right there, yeah. Um, there we go, group two. I thought I saw more this way. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that to happen. I thought it was going to just get knocked back. I don't think it did anything, so it doesn't really matter. I'll have enough hearts. There are plenty at the surface, and as you saw, okay, I can, you know, I can, um, what's it called? I can break any bits of grass on the underwater. Yep. So if I choke, my guess is I probably run out of air, so I have to be exceptionally careful. Well, I say exceptionally careful. I don't know how careful I really need to be. I mean, now, I do have to watch out, because if anything, I might hit one on accident. I hope I didn't miss one of these purple tad tones, by the way. I, I have, like, missed some before. I don't think I did. I just see two more. There we go. That's a pretty long phrase. And there we go. 
There are those big fish. Again, they're not hard to defeat, but I have to use... I have to use, um... My attack, though, in order to get rid of them, so... Don't want to do that. Um... Yeah, I knew that. I mean, they reappear. Oh, oh no, I thought I missed one. I mean, I guess I technically... No, I didn't miss it, no. No, I, I hadn't encountered it yet, so... I guess it was missing, but I didn't miss it because I hadn't encountered it yet. Okay, let's get some hearts. Alright, well... Alright, I'm not going to use that again because I'm going to run... Run low on, I'm running low on air, so let's uh, get another air bubble. There we go. Plenty of air. I'm going to go back to the surface and see if I get my hint about using my dowsing. Well, I say my hint. The abil I mean, getting the ability to use the dowsing. Um... Didn't know these guys were so close to the surface. I thought they were... I thought they preferred to be at greater depths, but I, I guess I'm mistaken. Okay. Does this guy have anything to say? No, I already talked to this guy. Because uh, I swear it's the... Hermit. No. It's the same thing he said before, so... I don't remember how to get the ability to douse for these guys. Maybe I have to collect even more of them? Because maybe the game, kind of the way it was, or maybe the way it was designed is that they think you'll get some of the really obvious ones, and then when you get a little bit stuck, that's when you'll want to douse. I don't know. Well, that's one of the boulders that I can attack, I think. Let's move it out of the way. And this just gives me another air uh, bubble source. Okay. Let's just get rid of these. Oh, I see, I see something. Unfortunately, these guys have a lot of these uh, spiky things nearby, so... Oh, I, I'm i probably going to want to let these go because I think this is where I should start. Yeah. Because otherwise I would have to go all the way around to get the fourth one. Um, yeah, that was much easier. Okay. Um, I know I haven't really been... <laughs> Doing a good job at, like, systematically looking at every part of the submerged woods. So, I'm gonna try to do that now. I'm going to, uh, 
look at an area that I don't believe I've looked at yet. Well, first off, I think I'm... Um, is there a little spot here? No, not really. Oh, there's a... Is that an amber relic on... The, yeah, on this uh, poison bubble source. I don't need it, so I can ignore it, but... Nice. Okay. So I'm still missing some pretty large groups of notes. Can I swim under here and through? Yeah, I can. Interesting. Didn't realize I could do that. Um, I hope I don't have to do that a lot. It seems kind of like a pain in the ass. Uh, is there anything over here, like, really obvious that I'm missing? Oh, nope, I think it was already here. No, I was already here, wasn't I? Uh, is this, uh, blocked off? Yes, that's an invisible wall. I cannot go- oh, no. I say invisible, I think I can kind of- well, maybe that's just- maybe that's not really a wall as much as it is just, uh, the edge of the- the water, and the fact that it kind of looks like it could be a barrier is just, uh, is an un unintended effect. I mean, I'm still missing some big groups of- of tad tones, and, um... The fact that I can't really find them right now, it's maybe not good, but oh well. This is not timed, so not really a big deal. Um, I think if I, uh, yeah, if I um, look at my map, actually, it will show me uh, where I've already collected tad tones, so... This will help, because I can now try to look in areas I haven't really checked yet. Like right over here, and I see, uh, I see one already. Yep. Or at least where I haven't gathered any yet, you know. Um. Uh. Okay. Oh, I think I'm gonna wanna probably go... I'm gonna wanna let these ones go away. And I'm actually running low on air, so... Um, can I get this one without... Yep. Oh, I see. There's oxygen. There, there's an air bubble near here, but oh well. Okay, now I think this is where he'll tell me... I think this is where he's going to tell me why don't you try dowsing for them. And I just took a bunch of damage. Uh-oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Holy crap, that is a lot of damage really fast. Alright, well, I can grab some hearts while I'm down here. Oh, you know what I think those do? I think th those things might release some... Um, maybe if you don't bash into them, I think you might still take damage if you, like, don't bash into them or don't attack into them. But I think they release poison bubbles, and I think that's why I ran out of air. Or maybe I didn't have enough air left, and when I used my spin attack or spin maneuver, maybe it used up the rest of my air. I don't know. So is he already dead? No, I have to hit him a second time, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I thought I had hit them twice. Alright. So yeah, it's not completely useless by any means, but it, it, you still have to do a lot of work for yourself. Oh, I think I see your work. I think I know where it actually... I think I know where it might be taking me. Like, dowsing. 
Um. Okay. Oh, I didn't get more air. Oh, okay, I see what I have to do. I have to knock this frog into those boulders. Okay. And I... I'll miss it. Yep. Okay. Cool. Well, at least I can get air. What does this guy have to say? Um... Yeah, but... I missed uh, the boulders again. I'm gonna go up for more air first and then I'll try that again. Alright. Let's try this again. I'm gonna lean forward a bit because I think I'm struggling to control my swimming that well. Very well. Um, there we go. And I took damage, but I don't care. The tad, to tad tone has been released. There we go. So there, my dowsing did help me out here. Um, now I'm going to break uh, some grass to get some more hearts. I'm uh, not very efficient. Oh, and he's already... And I'm about to take damage again. Fantastic. That's not... I thought it was. Nope. Okay, just in time. It actually drains a little bit slower than I thought it was going to. So, all right. Uh, I'm gonna start dowsing again. Now I have to be on land to use it to be able to douse. Yeah. Even if I'm at the surface, it doesn't work. Oh, I, I see what I have to do here. Hold on. Um. I see what I have to do for one of these, um, I think. Yeah, um... I think there is a tad tone that is released by landing on... Not this lily pad that I'm on, but this one from a great height. I see it. I see it too. My dowsing, I can see it, but my dowsing also tells me there's something there. So, can I, um... I don't think this works. I want that heart. Nope. Oh, I knocked it loose, but... I don't see it. I don't think it's falling to the surface of the water. Um, Alright. Now, the thing is, these, uh, those enemies, I do, I believe they respawn over time, so it's, not even over time, as you kill them, they respawn, so it's not like by killing some of them, I'm getting rid of them so I don't have to deal with them. That's not how it works, which is unfortunate. Um. Uh. So anyways, I go up here. Um. Can I just drop down? I don't know if I can. I think I might have to go forward a bit. There it is. Oh. Okay. I think I have enough air to surface. Yep. I think also one of the... I don't know if it's a Perella, but one of them is supposed to tell me about like, um... How those those big fish, the ones that charge you, prefer to stay at the surface or something like that. Okay, so there's something down there. But what about over here? By the entrance to the deep woods. Nope, nothing. Alright. I'll look down here then. Cause it looks like I'm missing only oh, I'm missing one more solo note. I guess. And then everything else is in a group, but I'm only missing two more groups. 
Oh, I see them. I see them. Um. And for the record, yes, I do know that the ones that are alone are kind of like quarter notes and musical scores. And these ones are kind of like eighth notes, I guess. So for the record, I do know that. I don't know if anyone who plays this game ever uses that to ref um, those terms to refer to these to refer to the tad tones. Okay, there we go. And then this is probably what, another source of air. Uh, okay. Actually, this guy's got a hint for me as well. What is the what, what does this guy have to say? Okay, so yeah, that is the hint. I. I Got it mixed up at first. I thought, before I saw them hanging out at the surface, I thought those guys prefer to be deep, but no. Okay, I see. This might be the last um, uh, lone tad tone. Um, I see where I am. Um, okay. I'm not going to get that heart because I'm a little bit worried about running out of air. And if I run out, okay, I didn't have to worry. But if I did run out, like I would lose a lot more health. So it looks like I'm just missing one more group of tad tones, and I can't see it because the swim indicator at the bottom of the screen is taking up the space where, where I would be able to see it. But okay, I'm gonna grab my, I'm gonna douse again for it. It's, uh, okay. Actually, I'm gonna grab these hearts with my beetle. Okay, so now let's pull out the dowsing. Oh, um. Oh, I see them. I can see them from here. How did I miss those? Oh, I'm kind of not going the right or direct route. I see them. Oh, it's just four. And that's it. I guess the ones that are in groups of more of more than two, so four or more, I guess those are like 16th notes. Whatever. Okay. Like I said, I'm... Oh, you know what? I I don't know for sure if this is the last encounter with water. I actually... I don't remember if the Sky Keep has any water. Any, any like, um, any water. I don't remember. Uh, well, if it is, if it does, it's not as deep as this water. So... This is kind of like the last big water, I guess, that you encounter. Okay, so I can get back up there pretty easily. I don't have to swim back down. Uh, I am gonna replenish my last heart because, you know, it's kind of annoying to be missing just one heart of health. Alright. Now let's go in and return to the water dragon and ask her to not like, uh, not, uh, to, um, get rid of the flooding.
wonder where all this water is going to go, though. And, and where did it come from, and also? But there we go. Everything's back to normal. Including the music. I can hear the hermit snoring. And, um, it doesn't look like it's any more damaged either. Despite, you know, having been flooded with probably hundreds of feet of water. Uh, I'm gonna leave, because that hermit's getting annoying. But actually, I do have one more thing to do. Where's Ulu? Okay. Uh, where is Ulu? Okay, that way. So I'm gonna jump off a little bit closer to where I need to go. Okay. Alright. Oh, damn it, I just placed a second beacon instead of getting rid of the first one. Yep, the one who's trying to hide. What sh yeah, what shoulders? Oh. If you remember, Alwyn wanted me to find sort of new plant life that's not native to Skyloft. I think this is the last time we see the Scrapper robot, also. Close a statue. Uh, I think it might be the one right here. Wait, one of these guys is right by the viewing platform. I don't know why. Those things literally, they literally can shit on you. There he is. Just want to know what he's doing here. Yeah. Well, you know, you still have to deal with these guys. Right here. Uh, I guess I don't see that shield moblin anymore. I guess that guy's gone. But I suppose these guys could have, you know, they could have they could have flown upward and avoided the flood. Okay. All right. Enough. Enough delaying. Let's get out of here. I don't have to come back to the. For, well, I guess technically you come back to Faran, but at the end of the game. But don't have to come back to the woods ever again. So this is our final goodbye. <laughs> so 
So, let's see. I kind of land close to the academy. Let's go to Owlin, which door was his again? Nope, that's the bath, so I believe it's this one. Yep. Yeah, that's a hard landing. You couldn't have dropped him a little bit. You couldn't have gotten closer to the ground. I think he's okay. That is the last of the gratitude crystals, also. So let's see what he has to say about him. Oh, I think you're Okay, now let's see. Does, um. Now, does he have anything to say? Aww. I don't know if he necessarily likes that. Oh. Okay. So this is what you were asked to do, or what I, um, earlier, or what I guess I was asked to do earlier, whatever. You know what I meant. Uh, yep, that's the last of the gratitude crystals in the game, so now we can go and turn Batro into a human, and as I've said before, he still looks kind of creepy as a human. But I guess he can't help it, so... I guess we won't pick on him for that. Crystals. <laughs> All right, so now I can hold nine thousand nine hundred rupees. I mean, look at him. He still has, like, the prominent, like, teeth. He still has, I guess, there's, I guess he still has fangs. Um, his hair looks kind of weird, too. Eh, well, he probably, I mean, I, I say what you want about the way he looks, but yeah, he undeniably looks more human. But this is the thing that actually gets rid of all the monsters in Skyloft, and it, it keeps the rem the remlets from becoming violent at night. 
So I will demonstrate that now. Or, well... Actually, I might first be able to, uh... Find the instructor who makes the comment about that. So I think he's... Uh, over... Here? Maybe? Yes, no? Um... Oh, also, I should visit this part of, um, Skyloft I haven't been to yet, because I won't be able to pretty soon. So, there's a hook- or uh, I said hook shot. There is a claw shot target up here. And it's not that interesting for the most part. You can go over here now. The many Remlet creatures hang out here. Look at them. You're getting swarmed by them. They want to say hi, and you can pick them up. Don't throw them. It seems like it would hurt them, but... Well, they follow you. They follow you around. And, of course, if you know what happens after you complete the sky, um, the sky keep, this area, I believe, this area right here, it's part of the area that goes away, and I don't know if you can do this near the end of the game. Aww. So there are five of them, it looks like, all together. Unfortunately, in this game, I don't know if you can do this in the HD version. My guess is you probably can't. You can't pet them. But you can pick them up. Alright, I got a time to say goodbye to them, because I got stuff to do. So... Kind of a... I don't know. It's kind of a boring use of a claw shot target. It's really not that interesting. Um, but I do want to verify that this was the, the trigger for getting rid of all the monsters in Skyloft. So, let me just find a bed to sleep in. Oh. So, let's make it nighttime now. Maybe it's at night when the instructor tells you about... I, I don't remember. Oops. So, let's- let's look. There he is. There's... I think this is probably Horwell? Yep. And there she is. She's still very normal and happy and she's not gonna- not gonna bite my face. And try to kill me. And if I go this way, I believe the monsters are all gone. No choo-choos, no keys. Um, yeah. And people are- oh, there's another remlet. Aw, I think I woke this one up. And here's Pero just walking about. Yep, no monsters. Yep, so that's what you unlock. Um, Kinda of stinks that doesn't happen until way late in the game, but I suppose it's not really of much consequence. There's not much to do at night in Skyloft. I'm pretty sure you still can't use your loft wing at night. Like I hear they're they're mewing. Yep. And then, what about the one that likes to hang out on this bridge? Is there one here? Yep. Hey, there's Batro. He's out and about. Uh 
Well, I already know it could be. There he is. He's just... I mean, he still looks kind of creepy, but... Well, like I said, he's not a demon, so... I suppose that's all that matters. Oh, this guy wants to say hi to you. Will it follow me... Will it follow me off the bridge? Yes, it will. Okay. There's another one. Like it just like I said, I I can't pet I can't pet them. So I, all you can do is just stand here and listen to them. All right, that's enough of that though, because there is one more thing that I want to check. Um. Now I don't remember exactly what the trigger is for. If this next thing is even available, it might not be still. I don't remember what exactly you have to do. I don't know if it's you know t turning Batro into a human. But in this cave, I think it might just be at night. Um, so the monsters in here are gone as well, as you can see. Um, uh, there's a firefly. I'll catch one because I don't have any and I don't like that I don't have any, even though I don't need any. So, like I said, I don't even know- I don't remember exactly where this thing is. I don't even remember what makes it available. I could be wasting my time. It's a... Sheikah Stone, and this is the exit, so maybe it's not available until you complete the Song of the Hero? I don't really remember. It might be something that's not available to the very end of the game, but... Unless I just- I don't think I went past where it's supposed to be. So, I'll just say what it is then. Um, near the very, very end of the game, there is a Sheikah Stone that you can make appear. And it will sell you for rupees, it will sell you um, materials, including rare materials as well. Whatever. I just wasted my time. But you did see that the monsters are all gone. Now those are monsters that would be there during the day as well in the cave, but the ones that are normally here at night, in including this area right now, remember there were monsters here, they're gone. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's make it daytime again, that's enough of this. Morning. And, uh, yeah, so now let's go back to Elden and I'll do the Bokoblin camp. I don't really know what to call it. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. This is the. This is the way I want to go. I don't want to go <laughs> the other way. It's way faster this way. Actually, I'm going to go up to the this area because it looks like it's even closer if I jump off this little deck, pier, whatever, here. There we go. So once I do this, there's no turning back.
It's a little bit early to use the sailcloth. And the volcano is erupting. That is a lot of, of uh, lava. But the volcano erupted. And you get knocked out. And I mean, that's a little prison being guarded by a bokoblin. And I have no health almost. And no weapon. I, these aren't bokoblin items, it's to say they've stolen all your shit. Oh, that wasn't my weapon, that was my adventure pouch. But can I get some parts? No, I can't because I don't have my f I don't have my medals. Ah. Uh, I don't have my heart medals, I just realized. Uh, we'll say... Searching. It's, yeah, I'm here for treasure, of course. that even a Mogma would be proud of. Okay. Well, I can't do anything about the low health for a while because I don't have my heart medals. So I'm gonna have to find, like, a stool. my map. They can't take my map. That's, that's, uh, I have a, there's a Sheikah stone, um, in case I'm truly stuck. They can't take my map from me. There's a enemy to discourage you from going that way, but here's a, here's a stool. Because I don't have a sword, so I am truly discouraged from going that way. Alright, and then if I dig here, is there... Oh, okay. Kind of pointless. Um, so I don't want to go there. Um, yeah, so I have to go this way. Yep, you're discouraged by the presence of that cursed keys. And I can't even go back to the surface. This guy is blue instead of, like, Orange. Here's a Sheikah, st the Sheikah stone, or the Gossip stone, is it? I don't remember. I, I guess this one's the Gossip stone because it has hints for me, but I don't need them because I'm good at this game, so. Alright. And there. Oh, I guess they didn't steal the harp for what for what it's worth. Why is he not telling me everything he knows? He wants me to be okay. And also, so if they were things that he wanted, would he, would he have stolen them? Okay, well, what, what's over here? Um... Well, okay, so it looks like that those platforms in the, the lava are going kind of this way. 
In fact, I can probably verify where they're going. Um, yeah, that's like to take me back down here. Oh, they, they don't, okay. I see, I wouldn't be able to take them anywhere anyway. So, gotta wait for this guy to fuck off. Oh, he's coming back this way. And I can't just kind of cheat because there is a hot ground, whatever that is, that's stuff that you can blow away at the gust bellows right there. But I wouldn't be able to make that jump from here anyway. Um, well, I guess I have to be careful because, oh, I can burrow under here. Well, I'm gonna go back up for a sec, because I, uh, I think I can go. Oh, dickhead. This way. Oh, no, I can't. There's nowhere to go. So I do have to go that way. Okay. Whatever. Let's go. Get away from that guy. Um, alright. So I have to... Break some boulders. And is there another bomb flower up here? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, I don't know what I... I, I mean, I, I saw it, but I don't know why... I, whatever. Okay, there we go. So now I can get through. Alright, now where am I? Uh, so it looks like... Uh, I mean, I don't entirely remember the order in which I get my stuff back, but it looks like the first thing I'll be getting back is the gust bellows. Can I somersault into these guys to take them out? Nope. That doesn't work at all. Awesome. I have nothing I can do, so I just kind of have to avoid them. Or I have nothing I can use to attack them, is what I'm getting at. So this guy's got a spotlight, but unfortunately for him, there are two dig patches. There's a tunnel that goes right around his spotlight, unfortunately for him. So take that. Um, of course there's one of these though. Uh. Come this way. Oh, that was close. Okay, is there anything over here? I didn't think so. And of course, oh no, I can see where I'm, where I am if I hold Z. In some of these areas, by the way, if you hold Z, it doesn't show you where you are. But it's usually ones where there's really no way you can get lost. So, of course, I'm going to need the Gust Bellows because these patches that I can blow away. Alright. So that's needed to get up here. Did I see something down here? I did. Oh, that hurts. Okay. 
So what I should have done is this. All right, so I've got two different areas I can go. Is there any point to going up here? Uh, I can't catch that guy because I don't have my bug net. Is this just a backtrack? Or, well, I mean, I know there are some areas I can go now with my bellow, my gust bellows. Kind of makes me want to go the other way, though, just to see what I'm missing out on. Because I see, like, ooh, I see the, um, you know, the path that I have to run across. Uh... Yeah, I see. But, did the game just drop frames, or, or not drop frames, did it lag? So I guess I just have a bit of a, maybe of choice, I don't know, or maybe I have to, um... Uh, okay, so I see I can backtrack now, because I can get rid of these. I'm going to do that quickly, just clean up. Um, this doesn't do anything to these guys. I don't even know if there's any point to cleaning this one up. But, anyway... Yeah, so it looks like, um... Uh, no, okay. This might be for later once I get back my claw shots, and that is the next thing I can get back, so... Okay. Alright, can I... Alright, I'll go back. I, I just wasted time for no reason, because... Because I was getting FOMO thinking about what could be over the other way. Alright. So this guy, I think I can avoid this guy by dropping down. And I can hide over here. There another stool well, there is, so I can get my half heart back. Yay. But I totally don't need. Um. Yeah. Now I can burrow down here and uh, another one of these guys, of course. Maybe I can wait till the tail gets. Uh, no, I won't. Uh. I don't have to kill this guy, by the way, but. I do want to get rid of enemies just because they're annoying and they can cause me to take damage and, you know, you would think that since I take twice as much damage because I'm playing hero mode that I would um, avoid unnecessary engagements with enemies, but I, I kind of want to just get rid of them so that they can't ever cause me to take more damage, which I think they can if I quit and reload the game. Um, is this going to give me enough time? Not quite. Damn it. Ugh, so close. Got it. And I didn't even take damage. Alright, but I see where I have to go. I, and I think this is the only way I can go, too. So. Where... Oh, okay.
Or maybe the other path is just for backtracking if you really want to backtrack. Oh, like if you if you get sent back there if they catch you. I don't entirely remember. Ah, uh, well anyway, I can navigate now using these guys. Alright, so I see where I'm supposed to go though. So I can't go this way yet because there are, um, it's blocked off by boulders. And so now, um, <laughs> so this path over here that was closed off the entire game, I can now, I can now go in here and see what's in here. You, it's, it, you literally see it, you can see it the first time you come to Elden, but you can't do anything until now. Which, it doesn't really have anything that important, I guess. Yeah, like, whoop de doo I got Eldenor. A and this guy's gonna tell me. Well, yeah. No, I don't. Exactly. Those rumors are 100% accurate. But here's the thing, even if you do hear it a second time, and possibly, it, tell, it says the same thing, even though it's told you twice. Um, so I think there are, like, is there a fairy in one of these? I don't remember. Maybe in the other one? Because there's another area like this, too, that another, like, little cave you can see from the first time you come to Elden, but you can't access it until now. Whatever. This area is completely... I wouldn't say it's completely unnecessary, but it feels kind of unnecessary. It's like you have to wait till so late in the game to actually go here. Alright, so now I need to um, ride this, as soon as one appears, this platform and get off at the right time. So where would that be? I don't think it's here. So I look here, I mean, I could have gotten, I could have, no, I could have gotten on that platform anyway, um, from the route I took to get over here. Uh, yep, right over here, I believe. Don't want to be on here for too long, because it will take me basically all the way back to the, basically, I think, back to the beginning. There's a switch that I can hit with my whip, but I need to get the whip back first, and hide behind this little barricade, and uh, hold on a sec, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I see, I see. Yep, so we got some bomb flowers here, and... This is kind of fun. You knock down the tower. <laughs> now I can get my whip. Let's get the whip back. Alright. And no, this is not something you have to do for every single item. <laughs> Eventually, you get... you find something it's in the volcano where you just get the rest of your shit back. Yep, yeah, this is what I saw earlier. Uh... Oh, it's not a switch, my bad. It's one of these things. Alright. And... Again, I can't go back to the sky because I don't have all my shit. Does this open anything? No. So that's not the... oh. 
No, that switch I think is for the bridge. Okay, so I guess... Um... I don't think... Do I go this... Is there anything this way, first of all? Um, there might not be, honestly. Okay. Yeah, I remember now. I think what, what happens is this platform stays in the air to uh, kind of let you know this is not the correct way. I don't think it ever goes down. Maybe it does if I get far enough away, but... Well, no. Anyway, so yeah, that's basically the game's way of saying wrong way. Alright, and then... So there's another one in here, but like... It's kind of hard to... It's kind of far to go with the bomb, but I guess I don't have a choice. I guess I don't have to roll it. I can throw it. Is that close enough? It is. And I would have had enough time to get a bit closer. So now I can go up to the top. There's the magma again. Yeah, but I don't have all my shit, so... I can't go up there just yet. Do I have my fire earrings, I wonder? I do, I can see them. So what happens if I try- Oh, I, I, I need, um... I see, I need my bombs. Smart. Okay. So, the slingshot is also there as well. Um... I don't have any... I don't have any weapons, so I just kind of have to run past these guys. And that's the other, like, little cave area that you can finally access now at this point in the game, but it's really not all that interesting. Of course, that area is more useful with the bomb bag, so... I'm gonna wait till I've got bombs, and, uh, is there anybody I see there is a patrol. Mm. I'm gonna come back because, well, you'll see. So I think I can get my bomb bag now. Uh, or can I? I, or not my bomb bag, my slingshot. I don't remember, I think so, yeah, there are bomb flowers down here. But the slingshot makes it ma uh, makes this area a bit easier because you can use it to stun the bokoblins so you can, you know, get by without being detected. And uh, it looks like I have to... See, I don't think I can hit this guy with the claw shot. It's too far away anyway, but I don't know if it would do anything, so I think I have to wait for the platform to get down. Oh, that's so I can get back up. I could have done this to get down. Or I could have ridden the... I could have just, um, taken this platform down here. Oh, well. Okay. Um. I need to wait for the... I need to wait for the platform because I can't get a... I can't throw this far enough otherwise. So. Alright. Get up now. Oh, I, I could have just gone across. Well, he's dead. So yeah, like I said, the slingshot does make this a little bit easier. And that's what's down here. I don't know if it's necessarily required, though. But of course, why wouldn't you want to get your own slingshot back? I want all my shit- I want all my shit back anyway, so... I wouldn't be missing this for anything. And I, I guess technically it's the scatter shot because I've- Excuse me, I've upgraded it. So, okay, whatever. Uh, Alright, so yep, this is how you get back up here, because these platforms only go one way. You can't run on the lava. So, we'll go... Oh, I meant to put that away. So let's get the scatter shot ready. Ah, 
I missed. And I spooked him. Actually, does this do anything? No. Hold on a second. No, so unlike with the bow and arrow, it looks like you have to use the A button. So, there we go. He's stunned, so now I can run past him. Uh-oh. Ah, there's another guy I just eluded. That's okay, he didn't catch me. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Camera was doing some funky stuff. Okay. Now I gotta be ready to hit this guy as well. Maybe it's required, I honestly... Uh, or is it? I don't know. Yeah. So I think it is required, because you have to stun this guy to get past him. Yeah, so is this where you burrow? Yeah, I think so. Ugh, come on. I don't think there's anything down here. Nope. And that blew up everything too. Awesome. Here's the bomb bag. It's just the regular bomb bag. It doesn't have my extra bomb bag. Yep, time to make some things explode, exactly. So I've got up here now. Of course, I don't have to waste any bombs, but also this is because if you run out of bombs and seeds, you'd be kind of screwed. So... He's gone. Alright. Is there anything in here? More seeds. That actually might be useful. Because now I have to go back. So... Does that do anything? No, I don't think so. Okay, now there is one more thing, like I said, this area- oop, oh, I almost ran into the lava. This area down here that I can now access that is very similar to the other one that, like I said, it's kind of a disappointment. I'm gonna check this out as well. And another gossip stone, or Sheikah stone, God damn it! I think it's the- I, I, I hope I'm not getting these mixed up, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, look, an evil crystal. That's a little bit better than Eldenor. Anyways, uh, what does he got? Basically the same thing. No. But, you know what, I'm gonna demonstrate something. Sure, I'll hear it again. And you know what? I'll hear that a third time. Let's see, let's see what happens. No, I don't. Yeah, you're damn right I did. So I remembered that after the first time, the second and third times. Completely unnecessary. As you can see, there are, are boulders up top, so... Alright. Oh, actually, I fucked that up. I fucked that up. That's not what I should have done. Nope. I should stand on this thing and then set a bomb down. Uh, yeah, let's try that instead. Okay, now, run away. There we go. What? Are you kidding me? Didn't even hit it? Or... Is there, like, a ledge? Um, maybe? Whatever. There we go. Now it's gone. Okay, now I'm going to replenish the bombs that I just used for that. So I used bombs just to replenish them. But that's as an for the per there is a fairy. I knew there was a fairy somewhere here. I used bombs just for the purpose of um, depleting my bomb count so I could then replenish. I don't know if I jump if I will land safely. 
uh, I don't want to land like in the space between that platform and the top of these three stairs, you know, in the lava. So, all right, that's it for here. Now let's go into the volcano. Or to the summit, whatever. As that is where the dragon lives, as was hinted by the, um, the stones. Actually, hold on. The Sheikah stones. So maybe those were gossip stones. I don't know. I don't care either. It's such a minute difference that I couldn't possibly care. Oh, you fuckers do not give up, do you? Okay. Anyway. Yeah, now I've got my, my fire shield earrings keeping me safe. Actually, I'm gonna put this one back. I think I can get these both with one bomb. Not that I really need to get this one over here. Because, like, over here is the slide, and there's really nothing I need to get down here, so I'm not going to bother going down there. Alright, now I have to run past these guys to go into the summit. And there's my sword. And there's a new chest that was not there before. Five rupees, really? Yeah, real lucky, huh? Alright. Yay. So, yep, first I do want to reacquire the rest of my gear. And I can't go this, or can I? Because they set up a fence. Uh, do I have to go? Can I even go this way? Is this even an option, I wonder? No, it is not. I see. I will not be able to throw. Uh, maybe if I'm really crafty, I can, but... There's a big boulder. Oh, maybe I have to, because there's a fairy here. Well... Come here, even though I have full health, I want to use your effects for good luck. I see. Oh, okay, I think I see what I have to do, maybe? Uh... Mm, maybe? <laughs> um... Just, um... Nope, no, nope, uh, that's not what... Come on, pick it up! Okay, that was close. Uh, yeah. Oh, I I remember now. I remember. I have to, I have to go through here. Yep. So this is another area that has um, those moving platforms that will allow me to finally move through here. Okay. I don't. Um, yeah, okay. And no, you cannot go ahead and meet the fire dragon. You have to get your the rest of your stuff back first, I'm pretty sure, because I think the other bits of your gear are required to get through. So. There we go. So what I can do is go through here, and am I going to need one of these? That is a yes. Oh. That is a yes. So let's get rid of these guys first. Can I get their attention? What about this last one? Can I get its attention so I can just get rid of it? Come on! Come here! You know you want to try to kill me. Uh, 
Uh... All right, fuck it. So I think a, a feature of the Master Sword that is not present with the other swords is that I think um, and this is kind of something you can see when I did the uh, that you could see when I did the the, the Moblin Horde is that um, even if they try to block your attacks, um, they will be stunned by the block, and that will give you an opening to attack them and deal damage. So. Um, first of all, let's, uh, see if I can blow up this right here. Uh, I could have gotten my stuff back first, but... Figured, let's just blow it up. Alright, so, in this chest is, I believe, the rest of my shit. Adventure pouch. And the rest of my items. And yep, let's equip my shield, which is now was was unequipped. Now it's equipped again. So, um Yep, that's how you have to go back. And I guess this platform is also up all the way to let you know you're not supposed to go this way. Alright. Now let's go meet the thunder, or the fire dragon, excuse me. Alright. So, this is a new area for me. And yep, this area requires the beetle. Yes, this can be sword um, slashed away. But we just need the beetle. Oh, and also, like, the sky keep probably requires at least one of the other items in the rest of your gear. So it's not like you can skip out on the rest of your gear anyway. All right. So now I just need Levius's part of, or Levius, like I said, I don't know which it is, because it could be Levius, like Leviathan. Yep. There it is, everything's back to normal. Except you can still go back to those two new rooms you can't access before. Um. Alright, uh, I'll do that in just a second. Uh, I have to compulsively dig. 
Not really. Let's go back to the sky. Actually, uh, before I do... Nope, the Sheikah Stone is no longer present. And everything here is back to normal now. The map is... yeah. Okay. Let's go do that. I'm gonna do that before landing. And that will be the last thing I do. I will get Le Leviathan's part of the Song of the Hero. And then that's gonna be the end of the episode. So I w I'm not gonna do the uh, Skyloft Sacred... or um, Sacred... The Silent Realm yet for Skyloft. I will do that next time. So... Oh, a little bit too high. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna try that again. I don't know if it's really worth it to try to go in this thing, if it's faster or not. Uh, of course, I just sped away from it, but that's so I could get more space, so I could realign myself. And... Now, okay, those guys were still present. That, that purple guy who shoots boulders at you, he's still present. So it's not like all the monsters are gone. The tornadoes are still here, too. But those ones aren't necessarily evil. Like, you know, the one that... That... Um, that brought Zelda to the surface. That was an evil tornado sent specifically by Girahim. So where is Levias? Oh, he's pretty close by. There he is. I see him. Um, so do I have to land on him? Am I honest? Um, I think I might have to, so... There we go. Okay. Well, yeah. Since I learned a new song, as he kind of hinted, there's another silent realm. Okay. Now, go back. Oh, I'm trying to leave. Uh, that didn't work. Uh... I guess you kind of have to try to try to kind of fall off of the opposite side to the direction he's turning. Whatever. I don't have to come back to do to, to visit him again. So whatever. So there's nothing left in the Thunderhead. I don't, I'm not going back to the Bug Heaven. I got all the chests. Um, so yeah, as far as I'm concerned. 
I don't have to come back to the Thunderhead ever again. So like I said, um, I am going to end the video basically as soon as I land and save the game, uh, and oh, uh, and then the final Silent Realm, like I said, will be for next time. So I'm gonna land near the shop. Yep. So I've got all my stuff. Uh, I don't think there's anything inside of here, but you know, I'm just gonna check. Just, just because why not? Just make one more visit. Oh, there's Batro. I didn't, I didn't actually know that I could find him here. Okay, so he's here. Oh. What does this guy have to say? Oh. Oh, the quiver. I, I, I guess I... I guess I didn't realize I hadn't talked to him since I got the bow. Um, so he can tell me that he has a quiver. Alright, well... Yeah, there's really nothing else to do. Um, I mean, nothing that I can do there <laughs> matters, because I can't really use any items in the Silent Realm anyway. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, and as usual, I will see you next time.